Finding a matte sunscreen is actually surprisingly challenging. I've watched countless videos of people sharing their matte sunscreen favorites and trying so many products from all the different brands when they talk about being matte, when they talk about having oil control or a dry touch finish. But sadly, they hardly ever work out for me or at least hardly ever have the finish that I'm looking for. Admittedly, I'm very, very fussy on sunscreen finish and dry down. So I'm not saying that other sunscreens are bad at all. It's just I really want something particular. And I think the problem that I run to quite frequently is that a lot of them start off matte but sometimes within half an hour the kind of matteness breaks down and they already begin to look shiny and many of them also travel into my eyes which I don't love so I really want things to stay put. To give you a little bit more context and to explain my preferences I don't mind if a sunscreen is chemical or mineral, but I've generally found that combination of hybrid options tend to work out the best for me. That's both with my skin type leaning oily and breakout prone, and also my skin tone can handle mineral options without looking too ghastly or ghostly. My skin is breakout prone and leans oily, but not incredibly so. So it's just like I lean oily. <laughs> Somewhat controversially, I don't often reapply sunscreen. I work indoors with no windows in front of me and my sun contact is just minimal. It's kind of fleeting in the morning and when I'm like walking to my car, which is 30 seconds away. For that reason, I actually don't like sunscreens that feel too lightweight. I prefer them to be a little bit clingy to the skin. That just gives me a little bit more confidence that I'm not easily rubbing them off just because I'm not going to reapply unless I know that I'll be out in the sun for an extended period of time. I'm mainly looking for a texture and skin finish or dry down that remains fairly consistent. So the way that it looks when I apply it in the morning, I don't want it to shift and change too much from that. With all that said, and with being a pretty fussy sunscreen user, I have actually found a handful of sunscreens, three really, that I consider to be long-standing favorites. And they definitely look matte in enough on my skin. And more importantly, they do maintain a consistent finish and texture throughout the day without falling apart. One last thing I'll mention before I get into my top three is that I do apply a translucent powder on top of the sunscreen to help set it. So this just boosts the longevity and the dry down and the skin finish and just holds things in place the way I want it for even longer. So I'll start with a sunscreen that I use most days and, and it's an Australian brand called Airy Day, specifically their Mineral Mousse. This contains 20% zinc oxide with some chemical filters or chemical boosters rather. And it has an SPF 50 plus rating and 40 minutes water resistance. The texture of this might be a little bit polarizing. It is like a whipped mousse. It's kind of fluffy and feels a little bit like a silicone primer, but I think they've made it creamy enough so it doesn't feel too slick or too oily, which is the risk of some high silicone product. When you actually start to apply it on your skin, it can have a bit of an oily sensation, but to me, it sets down to a very natural skin finish with a tiny, tiny little hint of glow that is very easily knocked down with powder. And this sunscreen sort of more so than others just holds onto the powder really well. It's almost like applying a very light makeup. It does also contain translucent pigments and because of that you get this kind of skin bloat effect as well. My favorite thing about it is generally sunscreens with such a high amount of zinc tends to tend to feel quite pasty, but comparatively, this almost feels weightless. 20% zinc is just super high, so they've done a really, really good job balancing that out. I know some people find 20% 20% zinc a little bit drying. I don't personally experience dryness using this, and I think maybe the silicones help with that. If anything, it has almost like a barrier-like or barrier care effect um, that, again, I also really enjoy about it. I mentioned that it does contain translucent pigment, so obviously I have lighter skin, so it's hard for me to comment on white cast, but I do hope the pigment in there would reduce some of the white cast, although I don't think but I don't think this level of zinc would be invisible on deeper skin tones. Next up is the Dr. G Nice Birdie. This is also an SPF 50 plus and just such a funny marketing campaign and just product concept. It's all around like playing golf outside. This is the one I tend to use when I know I'll be outdoors a little bit more if I'm like going shopping or just having a day out, for example. It has particularly excellent grip. This is a hybrid or combination sunscreen, but zinc does still appear to be sort of the main filter. Dr. G says this contains a sebum control complex and the blend that they've used or come up with for sebum control actually works exceptionally 
well. This formula stays incredibly set in place and doesn't make me shiny. The texture is more of a cream and are definitely a little bit thicker than a lot of the popular K-Beauty options out there. As I mentioned at the start, I don't think sunscreens that are light do a good enough job of gripping to the skin. So I'd rather have something that does cling a little more successfully. Of particular note is this sunscreen also contains something they call water shield power technology that makes it resistant to smudging from things like clothes and hats. And it's even designed to repel sweat and water. It's of course not a foolproof product and reapplication is always recommended. But the actual sensation of like sweating while you have this on is actually quite interesting because it feels like you seriously aren't disrupting the sunscreen at all. I don't know how to describe it until you try it, but it's just really cool. I love this sunscreen so much and honestly would probably use it more regularly. It's just it has a quite high price point. Ultimately, the airy day functions well enough for me day to day and I enjoy the blurring effect. And the last one on my list is the Sun Bears Active Protect Milk SPF 50 Plus. This is a super affordable treasure of a sunscreen. You can usually find it online for between $4, maybe $8, $10 at worst. But the downside is that it only comes in a 30 ml bottle, so it's super tight. Even so, you can buy multiples of them and still probably be more cost effective than a lot of other sunscreens out there. Texturally, this is the most fluid of the three sunscreens I've mentioned. It is very much a mill. It feels a tiny bit oily upon initial application but sets down very quickly. It absorbs within seconds. And this is also a hybrid sunscreen using both chemical and mineral filters where zinc seems to be the standout again. Unlike the others, this does have fragrance included. It's a bit of like a fresh citrus scent. Not too, notice, not too noticeable and it does dissipate relatively quickly. Like Nice Birdie, this sunscreen also uses ingredients to repel sweat, oil and water. And it does this really, really well. For how light this feels and how well it grips to the skin, they've done such a good job designing the product. I really just wish it did come in larger packaging for the convenience factor and really to reduce some packaging waste. To summarize all three, if you like lighter, milkier, fluid textures, then Sun Bears is the way to go. If you like creamier textures, then Dr. G is the best option. My, and if you don't mind silicone primer-like textures, then Airy Day is a great one, especially if you want slight blurring on the skin. I have a couple of honorable mentions because I used to use Bondi Sand Sunny Days religiously. Although I didn't personally find it drying, some people did find it a little bit too aggressive on the skin. And a lot of people had peeling issues, although I didn't personally experience that. Um, ultimately, getting feedback from everyone else is useful. But at the end of the day, the Airy Day came out. That feels more weightless. It just feels nicer. So I ended up switching to that instead. Uh, I also used to love ultraviolet lean screen and very similarly were two sunscreens from New Day Skin. These textures are very zinc rich as well, and but have quite paste-like textures. At that time, I didn't mind them because it was sort of the best zinc that I had used. But again, Airy Day came out, which is so much more weightless. So again, I switched to that instead. I really, 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 really want to find a fully chemical matte sunscreen. But I just haven't come across anything. So I'd really appreciate it if you could let me know in the comments if there's a chemical sunscreen that you love, that you promise is actually matte. I am sorry this list is probably limiting across skin tones because all these sunscreens at least have some level of zinc in them. But I also didn't want to make up products or suggest other sunscreens were matte just for the sake of a list. So I've gone with the products that I use that work well on my skin type and skin tone. But if you do know of chemical sunscreens that work more broadly, I'd very much appreciate if you could let me know. The other thing to consider is I don't necessarily think everybody is as fussy on sunscreen dry down and finish as I am. The truth is a lot of sunscreens are lightweight and a lot of them can be knocked down with powder it's just I really hate the sensation of my oils breaking through so finding sunscreens that can maintain their texture and their finish has been really like key and significant to just ensuring that I do apply a new sunscreen daily. Anyway that's the end of this video thank you for watching and I do look forward to hearing some other suggestions if you can share them with me and I will see you in the next video.